Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. I have another Monday quarterback video for you. This video itself is 28 minutes long. I'm going to play the video and I may have some interruptions throughout the video as I pause and explain what's going on and things that I think that are doing right and are wrong. Without further ado, here we go. I'll pause this screen, give you time long enough to read it. Yeah, we, we've been busy, so we're just getting here. Please, please, be go. Put your hands up. For Robert, 32, send him priority. I got a guy, he's gun on the front seat. I got him at gunpoint in the drive-thru. Keep your fucking hands up! Robert, 33, 22, direct, fire your response now. Unlock the door with your left hand! Right. Unlock the door with your left hand! Okay, come in. Can you Stop unlock the door with your left hand slowly? Unlock the door with your left hand! Unlock the door with your left hand. Four hour 32, he's sitting in the car. The gun is on the passenger seat. I'm backing up. He's unresponsive. He's awake, but he's not listening to my commands. Copy. You have one sitting in the vehicle, uh, gun on the passenger seat. Uh, you're backing up. He's unresponsive, but he's conscious. Now let's see your commands. In the McDonald's! God damn. Robert 32, if you can call the McDonald's and have the employees get out of the drive through window, I don't want them in our line of sight. Okay, copy. I'll give them a call. Restrict the airplane. It's 2230. Okay. 12 copy, you're on scene. 2230. He's leaned back, he's got his hands on his phone, the gun is on the passenger seat. Get cover! Get behind that... We're in the drive-thru, front window, he's in his... He's sitting in the front seat, still on his phone, not listening. The doors are locked, I tried to open them. Doors are locked, still sitting in the front seat, not obeying any commands. <laughs> it's all 33 for a party, but his. It's on the passenger seat! 
He's not listening. Sorry, sorry, cut it. Robert Doors two, locked. Uh, 20111 Rockberry Lane. 20111 Rockberry Lane. Caller's wife ran over his feet with a vehicle. Auto pedestrian. Yeah, he's awake. He's just on his phone looking at me. Not listening. The gun is right on the passenger seat. It's a Glock like 43 or something. Doors are... I only tried the passenger door. It's locked. Say what? Did I try it? I, I didn't need... I just took a couple steps back and waited for you guys. Someone's coming up to the window on the inside, is that what he's Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to lock it to the inside. Okay. Lock it or unlock it? Lock it. So he doesn't go inside? I don't know. Yeah. Hi, is this Ryan? This is he. Hi. Um, where are you right now? This is Montgomery County Police on a recorded line. Uh, I'm at a McDonald's. Okay. Do you see officers? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you put your? Can you show the officers your hands? My hands are already up. You said your hands are up? They're already up, yeah. Okay. Are the officers there? 
Yes, they're here. Okay. So, so, Ryan, can you put down your window and speak with the officers? I can hear them just fine. Okay, but can you put down your window? I'm not putting my hands down. Okay, I, I understand you're not putting your hands... Okay, I understand you don't want to put your hands down, but... Okay, can you... Are you able to hear them? Yeah, I can already uh, hear them and shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So, so we're talking directly to the officers. We're just trying to help you here. Ryan. Up. Yeah, so we're we're trying to help you here, okay? All right. All right, so what are the officers telling you to do? My hands are already up, so I'm good. I understand your hands are up. But what are the officers asking you to do? They're asking me to put my hands up. My hands are already up. What are you talking about? Okay, so have they asked you to do anything else other than put your hands up? No, what are you talking about? Okay, I mean, I'm trying to talk to the dispatcher as well. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page here, okay? Because we're, we're just trying to help you. Yeah, we're on the same page. Officer, they tell me shit. Okay, well, I can hear him saying, show you, show him your hands. Do you still have your yeah, hands? Yeah, my hands are already up. Yeah, my hands are already up. Okay, are they out the window? No. Okay, can you can you put your hands up out the window? You need to see my hands. I don't need to put them out the window. You already see them. They're, just, they're up. Okay, I, I understand that your hands are up, but the, the officers want to make sure that, that they're out the window. <laughs> They're out the window. Okay, so your hands are out the window? Mm hmm. No, you have one unit on the inside of the McDonald's trying to call up to the window. Hey, the driver, if you can hear us, put your hands up when we can see them. Someone's coming up to the window on the inside? Is that what he's saying? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Lock it or unlock it? Lock it. I don't know. So he doesn't go inside? I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Call 11, we have 567 as a crisis negotiator and route, and I have a call taker actually on the line of the subject. We're trying to get him to speak his hands out. Okay. I'm around, so you're saying you have someone there that's on the uh, landline with the subject? The driver. Yeah, I had a call taker. Yeah, but they have to be in line. Yeah. Okay, uh, just make sure someone's in position if the vehicle goes to no hole, do I need it for that? Just a waiting game. 
Yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, right, well, the only the good news is that the only entrance and exit is here. Okay. This whole lot. That one's blocked off there. Yeah. This and that one. Kind of I heard you guys lost one. Uh, did he call you guys via the phone number that you have in the MDT? Well, it's made myself useful. I got two shields here. Um, yeah, I mean, I had the uh, call taker call the phone I'm number there. Right. Um, they were trying to confirm whether it was him. They were pretty sure that they heard you guys in the background. Alright, so we have to Yeah, it's tried once, it's got voicemail. Let's keep trying until uh, something else. I'd rather you reestablish time. Yeah. He's just uh, yeah, hanging up. We're tying back, headphones on. Are you chilling? He's just he's not late. Late. He's not picking up. Oh, no, he didn't voicemail this time. Okay, I'm sorry, I only catched the last part about getting a video. You were kind of fumbled earlier. Let's just shield up to the glass. Hey, I got two Ryan. This is uh, Sergeant Worden. I'm uh, up here at the McDonald's uh, with you. What's going on, man? Hello? Hung up on you? Just hung up on Front seat, what did you say? Yeah. Not in his hand, on the front passenger There you go. Yeah, I mean, firearm's not in his hand, just on the front passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, No, no, I'm the store up. Just, just provide a little better platform, but hang tight on. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I'm getting units. Sir? Yep? Understand? Okay. Roger that. They're going to call him out of the car. I'm going to be lethal coverage. He's going to come back here. You two will be the arrest team. If if he comes if he comes out and goes that way though. You're almost better off breaking that window out, grabbing the gun and pulling him out. Yeah. Does, does Brian understand that we're going to be pulling him through where the gun is? Uh, 
right to tell them that. Okay. I think this is if he comes out on his own. Okay. He's up. Yeah, he's up. Four. Have him come off Washington Grove from Mid County Highway. He's behind the gun. He's up. Yeah, he's up. Yeah. Have him come off Washington Grove from Mid County Highway. He's behind the gun. Shots fired, shots fired. Um, shots fired, rescue, response. Uh, yes, Brian! Okay, no, I got fire rescue started. 在多兒 You guys good? I'm behind you. I'm behind you. See movement? His eyes are open. Eyes are open. Don't reach the gun. Gun's still in his lap. You got shot. All right, so I decided not to um, talk any during the video. Decided to go ahead and let it play all the way through 
and then just come back and do the commentary on it because I figured it's probably going to be um, a pretty long video anyway, so might as well just, you know, let it go. So yeah, uh, this dude, for whatever reason, uh, decides to go through the Walmart, I'm sorry, not Walmart, the McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> you know, sometimes the, the fuckery that goes on in Walmarts is the same that goes on in McDonald's. So, well, the same type of people hanging out both places, right? Whatever reason this dude decides to pull up in the McDonald's parking lot, uh, order food, refuse to pay for it, and refuse to move. Pretty lengthy standoff. Uh, their dispatchers got a hold of him, talked to him. They used, uh, the police used the uh, loudspeaker to talk to him. All the vehicles there. I mean, it's just, there's, there's just no way uh, that this guy was completely oblivious to the fact that there's police around. And so. Uh, he knows the police are there. He's refusing their instructions, not listen to a damn thing they got to say. The re now the question is why? Why did he do this? Who knows? Um, you know, this could have been a suicide by cop kind of ordeal. Um, I would kind of say that's probably what it was, um, but it's an odd one, that's for sure. One of the things that stuck out to me and I don't know why little things like this stick out to me but look at that old school mag light flashlight this dude has this thing <laughs> this thing's probably about as old as him um, that is an old flashlight an old outdated um, flashlight that that really you know it really has no business still being in use when there are so many better options out there and I just thought that was so interesting to see that this old ass mag light is still being used. You guys have the ability to transfer that call for how started. Roger that. They're gonna call him out of the car. I'm gonna be lethal coverage. He's gonna come back here. You two will be the arrest team. If if he comes if he comes out. Gun. Have him come up Washington Grove. So they've made their plan, or talk about their plan on how to make the approach and get him out of the vehicle. And as they're going through this plan, the guy decides to pop up and then point his gun at the police. From Big County Highway. He's lying the gun. Shots fired, shots fired. Now, we know that the person whose camera we're watching, they have a rifle. And all we can see is these two officers over here. She's got a pistol. She didn't fire. There's some off to the left over here. We don't get to see a whole lot of details later on who they are. But this officer here is laying down rifle fire. Um, of course, pistol ammunition can penetrate the doors of this car and, and go in and whatnot. But the rifle ammunition penetrating this vehicle and getting hits, I would say this officer who's firing right now from this camera view, I would say that most likely his rounds were hitting target. Now, where the other officers are and their angle and everything, not really sure, but um, this rifle, uh, I firmly believe that this rifle that was in play had a contributing factor to taking this guy out of the fight. And I believe that if he had not had his rifle out and just fired some pistol rounds, I think that this guy would have been um, not taken out of the fight as quickly. Come up Washington Grove from Mid County Highway. He's behind the gun.
and boom, gun. So this guy, he wanted the die. Yes, Brian. I can't hear you, Brian. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Now, my issue with this is the rifle should have went with this group. All this group has is pistols. Um, we know that rifles can dominate fights. This guy with the rifle should have went with them. So we see so far as pistols on the right side. And we see pistols right here. So it looks maybe this person right here has a rifle, maybe. And it's so hard to get the, the video to pause right at the right moment. Yeah, so it looks like this guy's got a rifle and then this guy's got a pistol. So out of all these officers that we can see that's in this camera view, only two have rifles, the rest have pistols. And as I said, I think that this officer here with the rifle, from his angle, I think that um, his rifle put this bad guy out of the fight real quick. Get that door. Get the gun first. Gun is So body cameras are great and all, but when you have a, a car door in front of you or a shield or something else that blocks the view, um, so I also kind of think that, um, you know, the, with the use of these shields becoming more and more prevalent, um, I think it would be nice that uh, if there was an, a, an attachment point on the front of these shields to be able to put a camera on the front. Um, that way, when you're behind this, you know, large object, uh, the body camera that you're wearing in your body, all it's going to do is capture the back of that shield. So I think that um, if shields are going to be used more and more, then uh, someone needs to come up with a way to attach a camera to the front of a shield. That way it captures everything that's going on. For whatever reason, uh, this agency was very adamant about including the fact that alcohol is in the front seat. Uh, it's a pretty good possibility that um, the victim here, uh, the victim, the aggressor here, was um, intoxicated. And that could be maybe uh, an explanation to why he had been acting the way that he was. So it would appear as though at some point during this ordeal, an officer went inside the McDonald's and put their body camera up in the window of the drive-thru. Um, of course, it doesn't. They don't include the footage from this where they're making the approach and doing this. But that was a pretty interesting um, thing to do: is set that body camera up there to capture from this from this angle. And I'd say it kind of worked out for them with the uh, with their intent of being able to capture his actions. Because even though you can't see very well from here what he's doing, you see his shadow 
right here where he raises his arm and points the gun at him. And of course, the body camera from the other view where it zoomed in, you can see him pretty clear with his, um, his gun in his hand pointing at the officers. You know, not much to say about this video. Um, I think they did everything they could to bring some type of peaceful, peaceful resolve to this. Uh, this guy was not having it for whatever reason. And I think some of the reason was he just wanted to die that day. And well, he got what he wanted. Um, not much wrong in this video. Um... They didn't violate any of his rights. Uh, they used deadly physical force the the way that they should have used deadly physical force. If you like what you see in here, go ahead and give me a like and a share. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more Monday quarterback videos. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense, thank you for watching.